the inconsistency for me wow 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 look who it is yes yes for those who know me for those who don't know me for those who like to get to know me i am <laughs> sashanda yes i have been missing for quite some time a year and some months if i dare say it has been a very rough patch we all can attest i started youtube right after leaving sixth form i was about to embark on my journey when i was starting college but it turns out i didn't even end up setting a foot on the campus and it's been a year now going into my second year now so that was a big scam um and the other day i was like whoa don't i have a youtube channel and i went back and it and i see somebody post two video and i was like no man it looked bad it can't be so inconsistent and it just in the back of my head so i start something i can't finish it so i was like i think i may give it another try i may not be as consistent as i should or as people would like me to be but why not give it another try after all i'm just doing this for the fun of it <laughs> YouTube in itself is like uh, a therapeutic kind of thing. Even though I'm talking to myself right now, I mean, most of the potential people will hear this video and will be watching it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I decided that I'm going to do this anyways. I'm not sure how the outcome will be if I'll be successful in this uh, area, such as YouTube, because I'm all new to this. I... I'm not the best person at doing these things, but I'm doing it because it's something that I feel as if will benefit me in some way, whether I gain friends or gain insights from other people I don't even know. But it, I find it very fun in doing it, so I said I'll just give it another try. So I'm here, and this video today, as you can see, the title will be about me taking the vaccine and my thoughts that i had about it prior and also what has been happening in my life since i've been missing from youtube before i get into the video i just want to say that i spent months basically a year denying that i would ever would like to take the vaccine but upon futuristic researches that i've done i have decided that i would be taking the vaccine it's a uh, i was a uh, I was at a crossroads because a part of my family, they fully vaccinated and they're, well, they're really along with it. And on my some family members, they have their doubts about the vaccine as many people do still have. But I decided that I will be taking it after many reading and of course, just asking God for guidance and confidence and faith in doing this and i feel i feel as if i am able to do it i feel okay and i'll be sure to keep you updated on the process and how i feel after taking the vaccine and so forth so oh yeah i think we can get into it now <clears throat> i talk too much anyways reach out a place reach out a place no never did I expect for so much people where it's like oh I just put my arm I honestly just never did I expect for so much people by the time I reach them did I call one number must be 70 something my week at number 33 so you know so then I got for 100 and start working again but it wasn't that long and I said they moved very quickly and I could tell because when I was inside sitting down it was a very quick process so well, as you can see in the previous video show now, it's just a lady that's so given us a bit of a tip today, as to what we should do after we've taken the vaccine. Encourage others to come. I gave you guys some pamphlets. You can share them with your friends, your peers, and whoever you see on the road. I just want to tell me now after I've gotten my vaccine, I've gotten my vaccination card to show that I have got my first dose. It's officially one day after receiving my first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Um, as symptoms that I am experiencing are none, honestly. The only thing I'm feeling right now is just a bit of a soreness or tenderness of the muscle area that I received the vaccine on. I took a Panadol immediately after I got the vaccine and this morning after I ate, I took another one. 
I'm not feeling any fever, sore throat, or any nausea, or fatigue, anything like that. Well, I am feeling a little bit of tiredness. That's all that I can say. I feel pretty much normal. I know everybody reacts different to vaccine to this vaccine. Yesterday was a very quick process, I must say. Well, sort of. For the amount of people that turned off, it was done rather quickly. So I got the vaccine and at this moment I am particularly the only person on one side of my family that has took the vaccine. So I w as you can imagine, I was a bit iffy, but after I did my research and I place my faith and my confidence in God because I so many things, so many people have said different things. So I am feeling okay at this moment. If my if I do end up feeling or experiencing symptoms later today or days to come, I will try to give an update. Hopefully it's not bad where I don't have the energy to give an update. But God's willing and I don't think I will be experiencing anything as harsh. I just got the first dose and I heard that the first dose isn't really anything much but I think it's the second dose you kind of feel some of the symptoms and da da da. But I'm not saying this to scare everybody because some people feel as if they're a vaccine and it's supposed to be anyway. You need to know the meaning of the word vaccination and you need to know what a vaccine is and stop being scared or paranoid when people tell you their reaction to the vaccine. Yep, so when you take a vaccine, you are going to experience some things. If you know what a vaccine is, then you will understand. Anyways, so this is my little update after I got my vaccine. Uh, this is a very short vlog. I wish I could show you more, such as injection process, but trust me, but said they move like bolt, they move like bolt. Then just draw the trolley, wipe it here, inject, dispose in a box, move the trolley gun to the next person. Trolley tray. Whatever that's something then pull. So it was very fast. I couldn't get a um the short video of when I got the vaccine because I removed it so quickly. And then nerves that wrapped my brain by the time they reached me. So I'm never there to about the phone, honestly. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. It was my first time doing something like this and what a way to return to the channel after me did disappear for all along but i don't think that this is, was a very important thing that i wanted to show because some people are very scared or paranoid of the process of getting the vaccine but you should not be scared i'm just showing you like what to expect you'll be okay and they'll give you some tips as to how to proceed after taking the vaccine as you can see in the clips shown previously where there was a nurse nurse i think well, I was speaking and telling us some, some of the tips that we should do even though we're vaccine because vaccine doesn't mean that we are not eligible to contract the COVID-19 virus. So thanks again for watching. Thank you for everybody who stayed and watched the video until the end. I really appreciate you and see you next time on my other video. Bye-bye.